Hey everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. Today I'm going to show you how I made these faux leather wristlet keychains. And some of the supplies we're going to need is we're going to need some faux leather. I'm using a faux leather wide ribbon from the Ribbon Boutique at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm going to be using Caesar Easy Weed and Caesar HTV Sparkle. Of course, I'll be using my Cricut Explore Air 2, a green cutting mat. Um, I'm going to need a pair of glass running pliers for stained glass. Um, you want to make sure if you don't already have a pair of these and you're buying some, you want to make sure that they have these uh, rubber ends on them. Uh, I will also be using key fob hardware set. Um, I have one left from Dritz, and then I have a package from Sewology. Um, I also got this at Hobby Lobby. These you can also purchase online on Amazon. Um, I will be using my Cricut Mini Heat Press, and of course with that, the Easy Press Mat, and a piece of parchment paper or Teflon to go over the top. We'll also be needing a Cricut weeding tool or the pin pen weeding tool. So let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? All right, I have both of my designs cut. So let's go ahead and get these weeded before I take them off the mat. When I design SVGs, and I did design both of these. Um, I always leave myself a weeding or make myself a weeding box. Why is that? There we go. I always make myself a weeding box. So it's a little bit easier for me. And I normally would save this, but it's kind of small, so. Now I'm going to just switch to my pin pen weeding tool. So it'll be a little bit easier to do the delicate weeding. I'm just going to carefully pull this up. Weeding heat transfer vinyl is so much more satisfying than weeding permanent vinyl because it just weeds with zero problems. One pull, I have all that taken care of. So now I just need to go in and take out the centers of my letters. All right, and there we have both designs weeded out perfectly. This first one says coffee run. I really like, rather appropriate for me. I'm constantly drinking coffee. And then with this one, I just have two hearts and some pretty flourishes. So let's go ahead and get ready for the next step. Okay, we're ready for the next step in the process. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Cricut Easy Press Mini to the first setting. 
and we will let that heat up. The faux ribbon or the faux leather that I'm using is from the Ribbon Boutique. Um, this is faux leather wide ribbon, seven and a half inches wide by 24 inches long. I did find out that Hobby Lobby is no longer carrying this. Uh, so I will have to find another source for my faux leather. What I did for these keychains is I cut these at 10 inches long by one inch wide. Uh, you can cut these on your Cricut machine. Um, I just used a rotary cutter to do that. So my mini heat press is ready to go. So let's go ahead and do our coffee run. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to get any moisture out of our faux leather. So I just cover it with a piece of parchment and run the mini over it once or twice. And then we will line this up. Uh, when I created this design, the cutting box or the weeding box that I gave myself was nine inches wide. So we will line this up. Pardon my head if it's in the way. Put that on there. Cover it with parchment paper. And we want to heat this for about 30 seconds. Um, unfortunately, my timer is on my cell phone and that's what I'm recording with. So I'm just going to kind of roll with it. I will give it a few passes over the top from one end to the other. Um, I'm not really pushing down on this in any way. I'm just gliding across the parchment. And we'll call that 30 seconds. So we'll let this cool off for just a moment. Uh, Caesar can be pulled hot or cold. Um, I prefer it to be a little on the cooler side myself. So let's see. Oh, that is so cute. And just for a little added extra protection, I'm going to cover it one more time and just do two passes to make sure the vinyl is completely down. And there we go. There is our coffee run faux leather. So let's go ahead and do the next one. So we'll cover it, two passes, just to warm it up, give it, get any potential moisture out of it. And then again, this was cut at nine inches. We'll cover it up and just a few passes for our 30 seconds. Okay. And then I will let this cool just a little bit. Set it off on the table. It's still really hot. Okay, and then let's carefully peel this back. Oh, that is so pretty. And then just a few more passes, just to ensure everything's stuck down completely.
and there's that one. Oh, that is so pretty. That sparkle, the Caesar sparkle is just amazing. And it is just as flat as the regular heat transfer vinyl. It's not, it's not as textured as this. This is Cricut glitter. So it's very textured. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure this doesn't come apart as I'm trying to put it on the hardware. So I'm going to jump off camera real quick and I'm just going to glue these ends together. Okay, I'm just using a little bit of art glitter glue that I have in this little bottle. And I'm going to just run a bead down the edge. I'll line it up. And then I'm just going to clip it. I'm going to try and clip it. There we go. And I will do the same for this one. Now you certainly don't have to do this step. I'm just doing this for myself. Just because I get a little, a little confused and things just tend to go a little wonky. So if I can help it along by adding a little bit of tack here. And then I'm just going to let these sit for a while so the glue dries. Okay, so we let these sit for a little while and the glue is now dry. Um, again, this is just something that helps me. If you want to glue the ends closed, that's fine. If you don't, that too is fine. So we're going to go ahead and put these together. And again, just for a little bit of my own thought, I'm going to add just a tiny strip of score tape to one side of this. And I will show you why in just a moment. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our coffee run. So with our key fob hardware, uh, you may notice there are two teeth in here and that will grab onto the fabric or faux leather and help hold it in place. So I'm going to put this in here and line it up. And I'm just going to press that score tape down just a little bit. And again, that's just going to hold it long enough for me to put, push this down. So we're going to take our pliers and we're going to put it in there and we're just going to squeeze. And then I like to do both sides or both ends, excuse me. And then there we go. Now, if your pliers don't have these rubber stoppers on the end, then you'll want to put a piece of fabric on the end of this so that the pliers don't mar the material. So this was with the Dritz key fob hardware set. And now I'm going to do my second one with the Sewology hardware set. And it's the same thing. Um, it has the two teeth in there. And the, these teeth look like they're sitting out farther than the Dritz. So this might have a better hold. 
So we'll just take that backing off, line this up inside, push it down, and then again we'll use our pliers. and then clamp it down in the middle and then on both sides. And then I will just wipe off the little smudges. And there we go. I might do it a little bit more on this side. I like that and then with our little split ring we'll just put that on there and there we go now you do want to be careful with your fingernails maybe use a small screwdriver or ask your better half to help out. I do that quite often. And there are our wristlet. There are our wristlet keychain holders. So here are a couple more that I did. Um, these two have uh, Cricut glitter heat, heat transfer vinyl, and this one is with Cricut foil vinyl. And there we have it. Have you ever made these before? Would you like to make some? <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was informative. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Until then, have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.